Once upon a time, in the heart of a bustling woodland, there was a forest filled with all kinds of creatures, big and small, furry and feathered. They called it the Forest of Verdant Canopies, but that winter, it was anything but verdant. A thick blanket of snow covered the ground, and food was scarce. In the densest part of the forest lived Benny the bear, who had spent the fall gathering a large stock of honey and berries. Not far from Benny's den, there was a burrow where Ruby the rabbit had collected enough carrots and lettuce to last her through the winter. And high up in the tallest oak tree, there was a nest where Tweety the sparrow had stored seeds and nuts. As the cold grew harsher, many animals found it difficult to find food. The little ones would go to bed with their stomachs rumbling, and the elders would share worried glances, unsure of what the season would bring. One frosty morning, Benny the bear trudged through the snow to check on his stores. He had more than enough to last till spring. On his way back, he saw Charlie the chipmunk foraging under the snow, looking for any forgotten acorn that might have been missed. Hello, Charlie, Benny called out. How are you this chilly morning? Charlie looked up, his small face looking tired and lean. I am all right, Benny. Just trying to find something for my sister and me. Benny noticed how thin Charlie looked and felt a tug at his heart. He thought of his own stores and, without a second thought, invited Charlie to follow him to his den. Come with me, Charlie. I have plenty to share, Benny said. Charlie's eyes lit up with hope, and he quickly followed Benny. True to his word, Benny shared his honey and berries with Charlie, who couldn't stop his tiny paws from trembling with gratitude. Why are you sharing your food with me? Charlie asked. Because sharing with others can make life better for everyone, Benny smiled. In tough times like these, we must help each other. Charlie nodded, his heart full of warmth in the cold winter. He scampered back to his burrow, his little belly full and a plan forming in his head. The next day, Charlie went to see Ruby the rabbit. He found her nibbling on a carrot, looking out at the white forest. Ruby, did you know Benny the bear shared his food with me? He said that sharing can make life better for all of us, Charlie told her, his voice earnest. Ruby twitched her whiskers thoughtfully. That's a wonderful thing Benny did. You know, I have some extra carrots. Maybe I can share too. And so, Ruby joined Charlie, and they went to visit Tweety the Sparrow, who had been watching the forest floor from her high perch. Tweety, Ruby called out. We are sharing what we have with others. It's a tough winter, and we need to stick together. Tweety fluttered down, her beak filled with nuts. I have plenty of seeds and nuts. Let's all share together. The idea of sharing spread like the warmth of a cozy fire through the forest of verdant canopies. The animals began to visit each other, offering what they had. The elders shared their wisdom, teaching the young ones how to find food in the snow.
The strong ones cleared paths through the forest, making it easier for the smaller creatures to move around. Even the littlest of mice would offer strands of soft fur to help warm the nests of others. As the days passed, something remarkable happened. No one went to bed hungry. The little ones played in the snow was round, full bellies, and the elders told stories of winter's past with smiles on their faces. When the first buds of spring appeared, and the snow began to melt, the forest was more alive than ever. The animals had learned a valuable lesson that sharing not only brought them closer but made them stronger. And from that winter on, the forest of verdant canopies was known by all as a forest of sharing. The animals celebrated the end of each winter was a feast, where they shared their stories, their food, and their friendship, remembering always that sharing with others can make life better for everyone.